Good morning, River Ridge. I'm Zoe Sullivan. And I'm Ethan Fernandez, and this is the KORR broadcast for the week of April 22nd. The Royal Knight Stage Company of River Ridge High School will be presenting the Drowsy Chaperone on Friday, April 26th, and Saturday, April 27th at 7.30 p.m., as well as Sunday, April 28th at 2 p.m. at the Center of the Arts at River Ridge. There will be a preview on Thursday, April 25th at 7.30 p.m. that is free for all faculty and staff, as well as their families. The last blood drive of the year will be held on May 2nd from 7.30 a.m. to 1.30 p.m. in the high school bus loop. As always, you must be at least 16 years of age, weigh at least 110 pounds, and have a signed consent form to participate. If you are part of a school team, club, or organization that's offering a summer camp, please send Mr. Carlson the information so it can be promoted. Now on to Maddox with our sports agenda. Go, 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 go. Hello everyone, I'm Maddox with your weekly sports agenda. Starting off with softball this week, they will play Hernando on Tuesday at 6 p.m. at home. Also at home on Tuesday, baseball plays Osceola at 7 p.m. On Thursday, both baseball and softball will play again. Softball will have a game against Mitchell at 7 p.m. at home, and baseball will have an away game against Anclote at 7 p.m. Parents and students, if your child needs a sports physical, a free physical event is being hosted on April 27th from 9 a.m. to 12 p.m. at 5A High School. So if your student needs a physical, that's the time to do it. That's all we have for this week's sports news. Now on to Nick with this week's forecast. Hey all, I'm Nick with your weekly forecast and updates on the weather. This week is going to start out looking pretty cloudy and will become sunnier as the week goes on, with around a 24% chance of rain. The average high for the week is around 80 degrees, while the low is around 64 degrees. As for the weekend, the average high is around 83 degrees, and the low is around 65 degrees, with a 17% chance of rain. That's all I have for this week's weather. Make sure to stay safe, stay cool, and have a great week. In about 20 years, scientists predict that there will be more plastic in the ocean than there are fish. Here are some tips on how to better help our environment. Firstly, avoid using single-use plastics like straws, plastic water bottles, and plastic bags. Instead, offer longer-use alternatives. Tip 2. Avoid products containing microbeads. Microbeads are solid, tiny pieces of plastic that contain exfoliating properties and cause pollution and harm to marine life. In order to avoid products containing microbeads, it's best to use uh, zero waste and natural personal care products. The term reduce, reuse, recycle may sound overused in today's society, however it holds true. Recycling can prevent greenhouse gases and pollution. Tip 4. It's so easy for plastic, glass, and materials to end up in the natural environment. If you're ever at a park or at a beach and you see those materials on the ground, all you have to do is pick it up and throw it away. If you want to go a step further, you can participate in cleanups in your area. Hey, I'm a brick or something, and this is pop culture. Abigail follows a group of criminals who kidnap the daughter of a powerful underworld figure for money and are instructed to watch over her for 24 hours in an isolated mansion. Throughout the night, the group discover that they're locked inside with the girl, who has a monstrous secret. Melissa Barrera, Catherine Newton, and Giancarlo Esposito are just a few actors featured in Abigail, which currently has a 7.4 user score on Metacritic. Following up on a previous story, Amazon's Follow adaptation has been renewed for a second season about a week after its release. The show has been a massive success for the franchise, with the sales of Fallout 4 jumping up nearly 7,000%, almost a decade after its initial release. Popular internet celebrity Jojo Siwa has recently been caught up in controversy for her new rebrand. It involves a new look accompanied by her debut single, Karma. People discovered that the song is very similar to a demo of the same name by Brit Smith that was recorded nearly 12 years ago. Jojo has denied any allegations of plagiarism and even denies knowing who Brit Smith is. Ironically, Smith's version of Karma far surpassed Jojo's on various song charts. I'm Marissa. And I'm Riley, bringing you current world news. On Sunday, April 14th, Iran launched an unprecedented attack in Israel, which had more than 300 projectiles fired towards Israel. However, 99% of the projectiles were intercepted by Israel Aerial Defense System. Israel and Iran are long-standing rivals that have been in a long shadow war for years. The Israel war with Hamas since October 7th has heightened those tensions. 
In other news, Australian police have declared Monday, April 15th, that a stabbing at a Sydney church was a religious-based terrorist attack. The 16-year-old who was behind the attack was arrested after attacking a bishop, a priest, and churchgoers during Mass. When asked, police said this attack is the definition as being ideologically motivated and religious extremism, but investigators have repeatedly declined the religion of the attacker and refuses to for now. Lastly, we have some more positive news. A sheep, now named Fiona, was stranded at the foot of the Scottish Highlands. The Sheep Game, a rescue group, has made it their mission to save Fiona. After being stuck alone on the rocks for over two years, she was saved and is now setting into a comfortable life at Dalscone Farm in Dumfries. That's all we have for this week. Remember to stay informed about the world around you. Now back to Zoe and Ethan. If you missed any of our QR codes, all links will be provided in the description below. That's all we have for this week's broadcast. Tune in next time for our next update and have a wonderful week.